And breaking news in the ongoing vaccination program for COVID-19 in the U.S. That's right. A major recommendation handed down from the Centers for Disease Control and the Food and Drug Administration, both recommending a pause in administering the Johnson & Johnson vaccine after six cases of blood clots were reported in patients who received it. Now, despite this pause, local health leaders and the governor are trying to remind people uh, about the bigger scope in this fight against COVID-19. I just want viewers to... Keep in mind, there are millions of doses of, of this particular vaccine that have been already administered, and we now have these six cases of a rare blood clot. I salute the CDC for erring on the side of caution to give everybody that, that sense of confidence. All right, Fox 61's Matt Karen joining us live with more from the state on this shakeup and the vaccine rollout. Matt. Well, guys, as you just mentioned, federal regulators have hit the pause button on administering these J&J &J vaccines, but it does not mean that you need to hit the panic button. Let's break down what we know and put it all into perspective. Out of 6.8 million doses, six rare but serious blood clot issues were reported. It's a one in a million occurrence. For those now hesitant to get a shot, the governor says they'll redouble their efforts to educate about vaccine safety. I think you've got to continue to build up confidence and to remind people. So this was a bit of a curveball. And uh, so um, be careful when you use the word pause because we've got to continue to build people's confidence to get vaccinated. That may take a little bit longer now. The J&J &J blood clot issues were seen in combination with low platelets and were reported only in women between the ages of 18 and 48 and surfaced between 6 and 13 days after getting the shot. I don't think that I would right now say that the vaccine is not safe. None of the serious side effects have been observed in Connecticut. Connecticut has already administered more than 100,000 J&J &J doses. Is the vaccine still safe? I, I would say absolutely based on the data that we've had so far. Connecticut was prioritizing the J&J &J doses for hospital discharges, emergency room vaccinations, catch-up clinics at nursing homes, and mobile vans. They will all switch to the mRNA-based Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. In some cases, it won't be possible to schedule a second dose appointment right away. We know that people will need a second dose, and they'll, they'll get their card and their, the date that they need their second dose. Um, today, we may not be able to schedule that second appointment every time. But the state says they remain on track for supply to outpace demand by the end of April. The good news is we're going to get extra doses next week of Pfizer and Moderna. Allocations for next week are expected to increase by about 8 percent. The White House said they have more than enough supply to meet the president's goal of 200 million shots by his 100th day in office. In a statement, J&J &J said they have also made the decision to delay the rollout of our vaccine in Europe. The pause on J&J &J bears similarity to the pause Europe took on AstraZeneca. Both vaccines were paused for clotting issues. Blood clots can occur naturally anywhere between 300 to 600,000 a year. Symptoms of this rare blood clot can include severe headache, abdominal pain, changes in your vision, or a rash on your arms or legs. If there's concerns, again, uh, contact your, your physician is a good place to start. So federal regulators are going to meet on this tomorrow, and until a decision or a recommendation is made on those J&J &J doses, they will remain in storage in refrigerators here in Connecticut. We have about 21,000 doses of them this week. Then they can stay viable for up to 30 days. We're live in Middletown. Matt Karen, Fox 61 News. All right, Matt.